everybody, this is Sub Share back another day with another unboxing. And I actually have a lot of unboxings to do, but I'm gonna start off with this one. Uh, I thought it was going to be something else in this package because it's so light, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's my Burberry uh, bum bag. They call it something else, I think, waist bag or something. But I'm gonna start off with telling why I bought this. So if you just want, if you only want to see the unboxing, skip ahead a couple of minutes. So I started with buying this one two years ago before going on vacation, because I just thought it was nimble to not have everything in your pockets, uh, to have this one instead. And I like this one. It uh, served me well during the vacation. Uh, what I like about this one is that I have a quick release here. I have a very comfortable uh, shoulder strap. I have the outer pocket and every pocket is big. The main pocket is very big. And then we have the small compartment here where I have my card. So it served me well. It's just that Adidas, Camo, it's sort of a ghetto so last year uh, before the summer my friend asked me to ask the Louis Vuitton store in Copenhagen to see if they had the Louis Vuitton bomb bag in store and this is actually uh, for the women's collection but they had them in store I thought I can might as well buy one myself and I ended up really loving it I've used this a lot uh, and actually not only this one because the first one I bought uh, my brother liked it so I gave it to him and I just thought hey I'm just gonna go buy uh, a new one from the male collection but the male collection they are first of all I find this a bit small but the male collection are a bit too big so I would like something just in between uh, this isn't too small actually but i like it and then uh they were just sold out everywhere uh, these just these one uh, from the women's collection and the one that came to the male collection the galaxy i didn't like that one the newer ones i really don't like those ones the ablo collection sorry but i don't and the Supreme Louis Vuitton one that is also quite big, really big, there the price is crazy. But now I was used to wearing it, so I ended up buying one from StockX. Really expensive. Really expensive. I think I gave like 2,000 euro for it. No, that can be enough. More than 2,000 euro for it. Anyway, what I like about this one is the handle, the very soft handle. Uh, that's the main thing I like about this one that I miss from the other bomb bags that I miss from this one I have the uh, more private personal uh, compartment here that I have against my body uh, the big pockets would be nice to have even one more small pocket inside and I like I've never used it but I like the, the this option to maybe keep your keys hanging or something but mostly I like uh, the handle what I don't like what I really don't like is that I don't have the quick release on it but I like it I do I'm just a little bit fed up with the Louis Vuitton hype at the moment so I thought I was going to look for something else. I looked at Tom Ford, but they seem maybe a bit too simple for the price. And one of the things that made me a bit, I don't want to say fed up, but at the moment I'm just taking sort of a break from, from, from Louis Vuitton is that the new products are trying to be hyped with the super flashy colors and doubling the prices. So I got the tip from the same friend to check uh, Burberry's uh, 
bum bag. And instantly I regret that I didn't take the gift box because when you order from, from the website, you can choose just getting it like this or from the gift box or in a gift box. But my thought then was that every YouTube video I see is with the gift box, the big one with the uh, ribbon, etc. And I thought that was going to be silly, even though I want to show you how it looks like. But then I was curious that about if I don't choose the gift box, how do I get my Burberry item? So this is it. I'm going to put the camera closer. So when you don't get that extra gift box, uh, this is how you get them. And I'm, I'm pretty disappointed about that uh, because even though I sort of don't care about the package, this is still an expensive item and I think I should get more than use a dust bag. So here we have receipts and uh, if I want to ship it back, that's it. Nice green um, color paper and the dust bag is also green, comfortable dust bag. But this is it. This is the only package that you get if you don't choose the, uh, the gift bag. So this collection, I don't remember what it's called, it's called monogram something. Uh, Hmm, it was way smaller than I thought. I was hoping it was going to be bigger than this one. So, way smaller. Okay, so, um, it's called Monogram, and uh, let me see if I got the full name here, otherwise you can see in the description. And... Burberry and Versace and Louis Vuitton and everybody else, they are trying to focus more on the younger people uh, that like hype things uh, instead of use their old customers. But what I liked about this is the colors, of course, and the stripes that sort of reminds me of, yeah, racing stripes. And let me open this one up. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton bum bag, except from I had a quick release that was huge. This can't be comfortable to wear. This was huge. So yeah, uh, I liked it because it's still sort of a classic look. You can see that it's it's a luxury item, and uh, I had I had a quick release. Wait, this, this, I can't wear this around my body. This is just a waist bag. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed. This loop is way too short. I mean... Okay, so uh, it's still a luxury item. We have the big compartment here, and I actually prefer having it hidden. Sorry, this is empty, so it looks stupid. But this is this is hidden, not in an open. And uh, yeah. It's also canvas, so it's very light. I like these leather parts that make it look uh, rugged. Uh, and uh, hey guys, I, I don't like it. We have this compartment here. But I'm gonna show you how it looks when I have it over me. And it's almost as long as can be. And the thing is, even though it is a fanny pack or belt pack or what, whatever you want to call it, on the website, the models are wearing it like, uh, let me see, like this. 
which sort of works and also wearing it over the body forget about it this I can't use this one I'm gonna try to make it as long as possible nice quality gonna soft thick it won't break on you so they have done that well is this really it come on okay so this is as long as it gets sorry I don't want to have I don't want it to um, this sucks I was really looking forward to this one it looks good but it's a bit too small and uh, the, this is way too uh, too short you ain't gonna see anything if I'm wearing this one because it's empty but this is how I want to wear it down here so I can easily put it on my back and have it here and even if I'm driving it's not in the way of the steering wheel is, I like this one. I use one of the handle and something less ghetto, more luxury. But I think I'm gonna return this one. The price was, uh, yeah, and I can't remove this as easily. Uh, the price was 610 euros or something. No, can't use this one. Forget about it. Hmm. All right, I still hope you like my video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Too bad, Burberry, Burberry, Burberry bum bag. Too bad. Let's go to the next unboxing.